It's all good. Alright. Welcome back to episode 9. Our first homicide case. Let's do this. Ooh. Gentlemen, take your seats. Let's get this over before lunch. Oh shit, he's the Clyde fucking Rose guy. at the Homicide Squad has decided to take early retirement. We will all miss Floyd and the steely edge he brought to his police work. The department has arranged a wee drink at the Galway Arms to quench the mighty thirst a man gets from 25 years of police work. Floyd's departure leaves a place at the top table. And the chief has seen fit to promote Cole Phelps from burglary to the homicide desk. Stand up, Phelps. Take a chair. You're in the major leagues now, Sonny. Rusty Galloway, a fine lawman of the old school, will be taking you under his wing. Your first case is the murder of a woman, found last night and bearing all the signs of the werewolf. Get out to the scene, lads. Got a nicer suit on. Completing a desk unlocks the streets of LA, allowing you to patrol the city and three climbs. Each desk offers a new set of. Okay, alright. Hey, are you gonna congratulate me? I have nothing more to say, Detective. Okay. Oh, I haven't played in like two weeks, so. Do you have the address? It's been all over KGPL. It's off Temple Street, between Belmont and Glendale. It's him. The cop from the papers. I'm in all the papers. There are three kinds of people. Those who can count. Yeah, I'm thinking of moving up to a 45. I want to put them down. I'd rather you took the wheel. What? <laughs> what the hell? Goddamn wedding. Yes. All right, I'll take the wheel, boss. Classic. Phelps. I'm out of here, suckers. What happened to Wolf? Parker wants the chief's job. Word is it's either going to be him or Thad or they're both clearing the deck. Where does that leave you, Galloway? Leave me saddled with a chump like you, Phelps. I didn't ask for you, and I don't want you, so keep it to yourself. See if you can learn something about seeing how a real cop operates. What did you mean by the werewolf? The death. Oh! Oops. I'm gonna, I'm gonna focus. Medallion. The Daily News came out calling him the werewolf killer. The examiner came up with the Black Dahlia. Are we any closer to catching him? Not a chance. Six months and hundreds of guys running down leads, we got nothing. You don't think this has anything to do with it? No, I don't. Ninety percent of murders are domestic, Phelps. Some guy gets into a beef with his wife, he takes it too far. It's gonna be the same. But cutting someone in half and leaving them off the sidewalk, it's a one-off. Why so many women this year? In half. In war. You should know that. Guy gets to kill people every day in combat. Comes home, he's expected to take a lift from his wife. What do you think's going to happen? It's that simple. Like I said, most of the time it is. True, man. If I just can't find it from World War II, bitch is gonna say something to me? Are you fucking kidding me? You gonna suck that dick I'm like fine? Just on the dirt road, detective. Better give the best fucking head in history.
How about a scoop for the examiner, Galloway? You can uh -oh. use some good press. Another tramp, another message. Is the werewolf back in business, boys? Do you have a mother, asshole? A sister? How about showing some respect for this poor woman? Let us do our job, and Detective Galloway will give you a statement later. He's good, Rusty. He even sounds genuine. That's Phelps, guys. The war hero. Defending the honor of murdered humps. You're used to it, Phelps. Move along, guys. You got your pictures, you got your headlines. Now scram. Let's focus. Okay. Damn. Well, she wasn't cut in half. You liar. Ah, oh, man. Feels good to be back playing this. Searching for clues. Oh, what's that? Popcorn. Is that a clue? The murderer and... Okay, whatever. Maybe they said they're eating some popcorn before... Was that? What the fuck is that? It hasn't given me anything to go on. T it what? Are you, dude? It's a knife. What if, you know? What's that right there? What that? What that right there? It's not clue. Okay. Create, little create. Oh shit! Sorry, Rusty, can't follow me down that hill. Nothing, nothing. Oh, whoa, whoa! Wow, what the fuck is that? Nothing significant. Yeah, what the fuck is that? How is that a clue? You know, some designer actually put that shit there. A little. A rotten looking piece of fucking potato. Alright, let's see. The murder weapon. Roman, this your hey, oh. Yes, sir. Stupid oh, game. Park. It's park here, they use it like a lover's lane. It's a working neighborhood. Some trouble, but nothing like this. It's uh, known locally as the Moors. You were first on the scene? Yes, Detective. No one's disturbed the body. No, sir. We cleared out them vulture reporters so Pinker and the coroner could work. They're waiting to talk to you. Go house to house and see what you come up with. Hey. You, uh, think it's a werewolf done this? I don't know, man, but my my search of the fucking scene of the crime got interrupted. Getting angry. What? Yeah, it was fucking cigarettes everywhere. This doesn't pertain to the case. How do you know? Maybe the werewolf goes to... Hmm. Maybe it doesn't. Optimistic, Cole. <laughs> wow, we're getting a lot of red herrings. Alright, let's see, let's see. Let's see. What? Lenny's? Nah, it's just a cigarette. Wait, he didn't say nothing. He did. Did he say maybe it's the murderer's cigarette? Circumstantial. Circumstantial. Okay. Never mind. Whoa. Man, it's the fucking. All right, let's look at this. How is that an exhibit? Like some kind of puzzle or parlor game. Oh. Oh oh. Okay. Okay. All right. This is. This is. Is this Africa? Oh, this is South America, right? <gasps> it's a bomb! Whoa! Club. Why steal a table lighter? Look at that flame. That shit looks hot. Uh, no pun intended. Ah, uh, yes. Epic fucking lighter, man. Okay, alright. Oh yeah, these were the bushes I was gonna check. Let's see. Anything here? Anything? Anything? Nothing? Oh! 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 Doesn't look like anything. 
I'm done. What the fuck? Yo, that's a nice looking golf club. Man, I thought we found the murder weapon for a second. I was hyped. Wait a minute. The murder weapon could totally just be like right here somewhere. Uh, I'm too into this. <laughs> mirror, mirror. On the. Oh, it's just a brush. There was a fucking mirror. Yo, you see, it doesn't say nothing. Is this evidence? Can we get a hair fiber for DNA analysis? No? No, you're not gonna. Cole! Rusty, help me out! Okay, fine. Let's look in this. Lipstick. Looks brand new. Can't be the one used on the body. Classic Carmine Mexican cartels. Ugh, okay, alright. That's it. There was nothing of interest. Yo, this is this game, man. Ah, uh, whatever. I'll bite. Um, what else? Alright. There's this. Hmm. What can you tell me about the shoe prints? Men's size eights. Tinker lifted impressions for me to compare back at the lab. Size eight. Yeah, I guess that looks like a size eight. I'm around eight, eight and a half myself. But I like to say I'm 12. <laughs> size eight. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Boxes. Whoa! You're a fucking vaulting athlete. Contaminated the scene of the crime right now with this fucking box right here. Yeah, motherfucker. Uh, nobody wants to see her naked body. Let's cover it up with this box. There we go. No! Come on. <laughs> Alright, fine. Let's, uh... Stuck to the corner first. Has the scene been secured? Troll and Houlihan saw two... That's how I came over there. The victim's personal effects are still where they fell. Cause of death? <sighs> Could be the head injuries. She has been badly stomped. The cuts look superficial. I'll, I'll know for sure in an hour. Jeez, man. Alright. Oh, God. It's pretty... What caused the blunt force injury to the face? Could be anything from a baseball bat to a lug wrench. I'll have more details after the autopsy. Jeez, man. Poor woman. Can't fondle. All right, let, let's not be weird. This is a public video. Uh, okay. Hmm. Better hurt somebody behind me and scare the shit out of me. What about this wound on the finger? <gasps> Something removed. A ring, most likely. I assume it was taken post-mortem. Yeah, that guy destroyed her finger taking that thing out. So, shit, a ring. It's a lot of evidence. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, that belly button is like, it like, looks like more like a, a piece of dirt. BD, okay, BD. Let's remember that. B. D. Big dick. No, okay, no, no. I'm sure it's not. It's not that. So that's it. Uh, okay. What does the writing on the victim mean? BD. Black Dahlia? Tex? Your guess is as good as mine. Could be something to it, or it could be the killer's trying to throw you off the scent. Oh, Either great. way, I'll run tests on the lipstick. Any idea of the time of Oh, it was ran with the well, lipstick. temperature, I'd say after midnight. I'll confirm with you later. Can we get to the bomba? Man could die of thirst in a case like this. 
So wait a minute, wait a minute. So looking at this blood. So he killed her over there and dragged her to this point. And then... Hmm. Right, this is where he killed her. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. No. He pulled her out here. And he beat her here. So what the hell is this? Then he dragged her to the other side of the car? And beat her? And then dragged her over... All the way over here? Hmm. Strange. Okay. Let's just look... Uh Right, we've seen that. Let's look out here for a second. See any murder weapon or anything? Uh, nope. I'm not seeing nothing. nothing. What was that? No, it's just weeds. Nah, no, I'm not seeing any murder weapon. Anything of that sort. Nope, 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 nope. Oh, crime scene. All the way there. Alright, let's get out of here. That's the... Oh, no, no, no! Where are you going? Two. I gotta just take this game easy and just not worry about dumb shit that might happen. What's over there? That little garden looking area um nothing okay all right let's go to the bomba right bomba clock let's do this why are you making me drive everywhere the bomba club Werewolf? For my money, a copycat. We can't rule it out. We need to work the evidence. Yeah, kids love that Windsor. A big head to hang on your wall. All over the decade. You've been working evidence from BD case for six months. It's a legit road. There's a difference, Rusty. Oh, yeah? I just started working it today. Okay, Oddshot. What's more likely? The werewolf comes back around, leaving us to in the court? He clearly has a thing for power. Power over women. Why not power over the police department as well? Let me finish, fellas. A guy opens his mouth again after six months of shooting. For some opportunist who's been reading about the BD figures, he'll rip off the ammo and get himself a freebie. That's not totally fantastical. Well, the examiner in the Daily News might be good at coming up with monikers, but they're terrible for police work. There's a reason we didn't get the son of a bitch after the short murder it was them, Logan. Where do you think the werewolf killer is now? Uh, dead by his own hand, stationed somewhere else with the armed forces. San Quentin, another town, another country, who knows. So Phillips, I understand you want to turn this into a big case, but it doesn't work like that, all right? A case will come and find you. you can't make it something like this. God, God kill. kill us! Jesus Christ! You're gonna kill someone! So you don't think the werewolf has continued to operate in the Los Angeles area? No chance. We just found it. I'll do it! So help me God, I'll jump! You need to get up there. Let me do the talking, detective. I know a ton of this psychology stuff. You take the back alley and find a way up there. Come on, Phelps, let's get moving. You jumping? Make sure you warn me before you do. I will! Wait, what? You think this thing can hold you, Rusty? I'll bring you down with me, Phelps. Come on, man. No offense, but I don't want you splashed on my shoes. Fuck, 
Are you crazy? What are you trying to do? I remember my first jumper. Could have soaked him up with a sponge. I still can't eat spaghetti sauce. I... This what you wanted? I can't do it! I just... I'll come quietly, just... I need some help. Please. You gotta get me some help. You're a danger to yourself and to others. Wrong damn way. What's going on here? Tables are turned now, haven't they, boys? The fuck? Hey, look, old man, we're sorry. Just quit shooting. The hell I will. I'm getting pretty tired of losing my weekly take to you, punks. What the hell's going on here? Ain't gonna last longer at Jim Shack. Where the hell are they? Where'd they go? Oh shit! God damn it, they went down there. Whoa. Oh boy. Oh. Alright, screw this shit. Going on offensive. Let's do this. Man, they're going deep. Jesus Christ. This is car 11K. Shots fired at South Flower Street, Scott's Garage. Oh. It's code 4 here, but suspect is down. I need an ambulance and horn. <sighs> Scare the shit out of me. 11K, roger on the ambulance and corner. All units select the reports code 4 on the shooting at 410 South Flower Street, Scott's oh. Garage. Code 4. Damn. That was crazy. That that really actually scared the shit out of me. Officer oh, needs help. Bank of America, Seventh and Olive. Officer needs help. Bank of America, Seventh and Olive. Two eleven in progress and shots fired. Yeah. Let's do one more. If it's as good as that fucking last one with the train, oh man. Bank robbery. 
What's the situation? This is a good episode. Dozen shooters, sir. Cold-blooded sons of bitches. Real professionals. What do you mean? Witnesses say they bounced in, aced the guard, and went straight downstairs. Christ knows who they're working for, but whatever's in that vault, they want it bad. Boss Ricky Ross, nigga. Alright, uh, ooh! Hell's fucking ye, Tommy Gun, baby! Ooh! They blocked the goddamn stairs. Detected. Mm. Alright. That's what I'm fucking talking about. This fucking Don't give them a chance to regroup. Smiley. That's what I Never fucking think. Good to me now. No, I wasted all the ammo. Oh, never mind. Oh, I did, Ace. What, what the fuck? How do I use the elevator? Oh. No, I need another Tommy gun. Fuck, I wasted it, man. You. No, you're you're just a whack ass security guy. You don't have no Tommy gun. Tommy gun. Tommy gun. Tommy gun? No. Top Fuck! Oh wait, wait. There's a guy at the top. He had a Tommy gun. Yes! Fucking do this shit. Wait, that looks like a Thompson. Man, it's 1947. It's not. I mean, that is a Tommy gun. It's just a modern Tommy gun. Well, 97. Good luck. Stand it. What? You're not coming to support? This fat piece of shit. Probably eating a Twinkie somewhere. Can you pull? That's why I grabbed the fucking Tommy gun. Obligatory. Ah, oh, I love the shooting in this game, man. Oh! How do I switch the fucking... Oh. You and me, you can't laugh to tell the tale. Bitch. That's all of them. Okay. What were they going for? What were they trying to steal? Can we know? Can we find out? Oh, come on. Car 11K. Shots fired. Suspects are down. We're code four here, but I need an ambulance at Bank of America. Seventh and Olive. Notify coroner and detective headquarters. Roger under ambulance 11K, all units, code 4 on the 211 and Bank of America, go for it. Mm. Alright, let's go. No more side cases. I did two. This guy got destroyed by that shotgun. Fucking... That shit blew so much blood out of him, he could fucking donate that shit. Yo, that wasn't me, man. That car just swerved to the left. Anyway, let's skip forward. So I gotta move to California, man. What nice weather all the time. A waitress. Can I have another spoon? No, let's see what the patrons have to say. If olive oil comes from olives, where's baby oil come from? You piece of shit. We've heard that already. Gentlemen, 
What can I get you? Phelps and Galloway, LAPD. Were you working here last night? Yes. How can I help, officer? You can start with your name. Garrett Mason. You're the regular bartender on nights? I'm a temporary barman. I work for an agency. I fill in at bars across town. Do you remember a woman who came in here last night? Five feet seven, about 110 pounds, blonde hair, about 40 years of age. You mean Celine Henry? Yes. Do you know anything about her? I don't. But the owner, Mr. McCall, serves her most nights. Would you like to speak to him? I would. He sits at the back of the club. Where's the hibiscus? You can't miss it. Is there anything else? Fire away, Phelps. I'll stay here in the little park. Pour me three fingers of rye. Man, you're not gonna help? I'm not a loss. I'm stumped. Ideas? What? Jesus! Can you go talk to the owner already? Leave me in peace for a second? <laughs> you going to pay for that? <laughs> House officer. That's the spirit. Want me another. Man. This is fucking bullshit. Ooh, it does. Does he drink it? Advice? What? Alright, alright. Can you go talk to the owner already? Leave me in peace for a second? I can check your code or book you a table. Maybe you want to talk to the owner, mister. He's in the back somewhere. Alright, alright. Keep your coat on. Buddy. Nice. Really. So, uh, how'd you turn Fritz out? I got a call back for that universal forest line. The fuck was that to do with tuna fish salad? Where's that goddamn Detective Phelps, LAPD. We're investigating the murder of Celine Henry. Do you know her? Celine? Christ. Sure, I know her. She and I and Jacob, her husband, we go way back. She was here last night? Sure, she's a regular. Celine is. was a. Lovely woman. Hmm. Oh man. Okay. They go way back. He didn't seem to take it that hard. If you're waiting for a free drink, it ain't coming. <laughs> Damn. Okay. Alright. Bumba Club owner and proprietor. We have the lighter, lipstick, we have cartel classic carmine lipstick unused found in the victim's handbag, size 8 shoe prints, leading to body, writing on body, fuck you BD, and text. Fuck you, BD. Tex. So? We done? Mm. Blunt force injuries to head and face of victim. Missing jewelry evident from marks on body. Okay, alright. Who's this guy? McCall Blue. Okay, suspect seen with victim. Was Mrs. Henry here with anyone last night? Not at first. Celine already had quite a head start. And she attracted attention? Certainly. A few gentlemen became very enamored with her and her stories. One guy in particular. Okay. Um, true. Don't see why not. I don't see why not. Why would I don't see why not? You know him? No. He's been in a couple of times. Did they leave together? Yes. At around eleven. If it helps, I made the guy's license plate. 
running. That's convenient. I think this could be a great help, sir. Thank you. Why would he want to do that? Why would he do that? Why? Come on, detective. I was talking. I don't understand why he'd want to do that. Mrs. Henry appeared to be missing a ring, torn from her finger, but not her wedding finger. Celine always wore a red garnet ring on the large side. Larger than life, like Celine herself. Did she have it a long time? Sure. Since way back in her flying days. Did her husband buy it for her? No, it was, uh, it was before Jacob. Okay, duh. I think you know where the ring came from, and I think you're going to tell me. Okay, I bought it years ago. I carried a torch for Celine in those days. Guess I always have. Her old man never knew about it. You know the husband? Sure I know Jacob. He was in the Corps. He met Celine on a furlough and married her when the war was finished. Put up with a load of shit. Do you think he killed his wife? No. No, not in my opinion. Mm. Seems doubt. So if it wasn't Jacob, then you probably let her out of here with the guy who killed her. How do you feel about that? Stole the attitude, will ya? I tried to get on to Jacob. I rang him up. Asked him to come pick her up, like usual. But... He refused. And she picked some night to push him over the edge. I rang him back around 11.30, but... Got no answer. Thanks, Mr. McCall. Oh, <sighs> yes. One more thing. It feels so good to get it right. Celine? 142 North Union Avenue. God knows I had to send her home in enough cabs to remember that. Ah, it feels so good to get them right. It's, it's like, it's like the best orgasm. I'm not taking that one back. Run. I meant it. Hello, miss. How you doing? I think he's a bit of a ganguero. Puta madre! Okay, let's look at the new evidence we got. Yeah, you know, the surround sound headphone was making me feel like somebody behind me. Jesus, that was creepy. I think my lack of sleep is making me paranoid. Alright, so Jacob Henry is the husband of the murder victim. Oh, we can see the questions he will ask him. Ah, oh, interesting. I didn't know that. All right, McCall, we went through him. All right, we don't know him. She's the murder victim. She didn't look blonde. Okay, husband's alibi. Club owner McCall reports telephoning Jacob Henry repeatedly on night of murder. Oh, oh yeah, I guess that's what you say, yeah. Okay. Doing good right now. Doing good. Let's call the coroner, see if he has uh, more information for us. Let's get out of here. Hey, what's the hurry? My stool was just starting to warm up nicely. I doubt it. Oh, can we get some information about her? Coming out. Sam is taking me to Operator, give me dispatch. I'll find out about the license plate, right? APB hey, owner. Sure so. 
Phelps, badge 1247. How can I help, detective? I need a registered owner on a license plate, 2boy8899. Yes, detective. I'll two boy eight eight nine nine. CMB. Shall I relay the details via KGPL? Please. Thank you. Okay. A waitress. So what about? I have another spoon. How many fucking spoons you need, bitch? You fucking reading a newspaper? Yo, these people in this game piss me off. But I've got work to do. <sighs> I was about to yell at him. I like the way the mini map faded in. Is he driving this time? You piece of shit. Alright. Alright. Let's go. I want to hit up the coroner and find out hey. exactly what she was killed with. You find the booze helps you get through a working day? Sharp is by investigatory instincts, folks. A smart lawyer might use that to throw out anything you collect today. A smart man might know it's unwise to stand between the patient and his medicine. As long as you're not falling over, Rusty, I'll let it slide. <laughs> That's mighty kind of you, you know, you picked the wrong job with a health and thirst offense. We owe it to this city to do the best we can in this position. As homicide detectives, that responsibility is all the more serious. Always the politician. It's not political, it's practical. Maybe the men combing Hollywood Boulevard after the Elizabeth Short murder were more interested in sniffing out booze than the clues that would have led to her killer. Yeah, well, if only you'd been there, choir boy. Betty Short would be alive, the Japs would have spared Pearl Harbor. Our ancestors wouldn't have tasted the forbidden fruit. Minor syntactical error, Detective Galloway. I never claimed to be able to prevent crimes. I only suggested a proficiency in solving. Minor syntactical error. Guess that's the drink slowing you down. Oh my god, brother, oh brother. Worse than I could ever have imagined. Minor syntactical error. Oh man. Fine, I'll do this fucking side quest. Last one. Bro! Come on, man. They cover you, dumbass. Yeah, right in the fucking kitchen. That alleyway leads to the rear of the building, sir. Someone's gonna have to climb up and take him down. Good luck. Don't let him get a beat on you like I did. Cop killers are the worst kind of stuff. Add that second lunch. Don't shit yourself. Fight killing cops. I'll cover you. Hey, I took him down, bro. Calm down. Okay, that's it. No more side quests for this case. I mean, I did three. Swing left. It's Henry Jacob. That was the guy's name. Jacob Henry, right. As always, let's check out the house.
Nothing. I'll try the back door. Wait here a second. That's what she said. Maybe he's dead too. That would be a hell of a twist. I mean, that's why I didn't answer the phone calls. <gasps> it's gonna explode. Cause the gas leak. Side window's been jimmied. Looks like somebody's creeped the joint. This is getting really interesting. Yeah, let's totally distract us from what was going on. Let's do this. You said I had to go back, doctor. The fires are cathartic. They allow you to confront your past. You said the house would be empty. Are you taking the medication I have prescribed? You said the house would be empty. I heard them screaming. Circumstances Whoa. were unfortunate. My colleagues had made all the necessary arrangements. You said the house would be empty. You're killing me. The deaths were unfortunate. But you have dealt with death before. I want you to come to the clinic and we can deal with it. You said the house would be empty. Two young children. Wow. This place is a mess. Don't think this is anything. Fucking huge. It's a really pretty looking shoes. Feels like everybody got one of these. Los Diablos. Burglar used the pry bar. Why did you kick the door in? You think I'm gonna climb through a broken window in a $30 suit? You got another thing coming, Buster. Also the window. Ah. So Lee and Jacob are obviously having problems. It speaks to motive. Crime scene evidence still weighs against it being a husband, but Jacob could give us something to go on. Mm. 
One of my exes drank like this, you'd be feeling the back of my hand. Call in burglary and get technical services out here. I'll talk to the neighbors. Don't take all day about it, Phelps. I'll get nasty when I'm thirsty. You're fucking always thirsty, fat fuck. God damn, she got a mad. Homicide badge number 565. Ah, oh, I thought it said Lenny's. It says Lenny's. I thought it said Lenny's. Doesn't tell me anything. I feel like there's more clues somewhere. There's gotta be something in here. A regular Amelia Earhart per day. The ring looks distinct. <laughs> Tiffany? Where's the stuff is junk? Might explain the missing ring. Everything here is going to be relevant. Stuck for a second. The fuck is that? Wow. Seems irrelevant. Piece of shit. Okay. I think we've seen it all. Nothing else. All right. All right. <clears throat> All right. Oh, yeah, yeah. Right, we haven't seen here yet. Damn, we could always play the piano. It's a big ass house. Nope. Why she drink so much? I mean, this is crazy. You got wine bottles everywhere, man. Everywhere. Alright, I think we're done here. Alright, it's a newspaper. We were here. Okay. I think that's that. Let's get out of here. here anymore. Two B eight eight nine nine. That's not. 
out for a second. LAPD, are you acquainted with Celine Henry, Miss? Horgan, Jennifer Horgan. I've known Celine for more than 10 years. Our children grew up together. What's going on, officer? Did you see Mrs. Henry go out last night? Well, I'm no busybody, you understand, but Celine had been drinking. And she and poor, long-suffering Jacob had a terrible row. I think Jacob may have given her a black eye. He stormed out and she went back inside. Did he come back? No. Celine was listening to music and shouting until she left around 10 p.m. She was very drunk to have been driving. But she is not the sort of person you can stop from doing something when her dander is up. What is this about, officer? Is Celine all right? I'm afraid Mrs. Henry has been murdered, ma'am. Murdered? Oh, my God. I'm afraid I need to go and then sit down. Damn, that almost brought a tear to my eye. Hey, miss, one more question. One more question. Just, just give me some time to myself, please. Die, right, fine, fine. Damn. I feel like a dick. I apologize. All right. Uh, yeah. Let's, uh, oh. Is there any evidence in the backyard? Is that the murder victim sucks? Okay, nothing here, nothing here. Alright, let's get out of here. Seen everything there was to see. What's this? The cop from the newspaper. Oh, I wish I could afford that. Afford what? Let's see what Jacob has to say for himself. I don't think Jacob is our man, but we'll see what he has to say. But it's me and a certain character, Matt, the guy that invented the cigarette. Jacob Henry had a violent argument with his wife last night. He's looking more and more likely. Uh, for my money, the broad keeps the house looking like that. Well, sir. Skipper says bring him in. Keep the hats on the back. Fine by me. So it ain't the werewolf killer after all. You see, you come to the same. I always said work the evidence. I only stipulated a connection to the BD killer as an avenue of investigation we should leave open. And as far as I'm concerned, it still is. Okay, fellas, we go in hard. Follow my lead. Jacob Henry? Yeah. Who's asking? LAPD. You're under arrest for the murder of your wife, Celine Henry. Murder? Celine? Save the dramatics oh, oh my for God. RKO, pal. You got bigger problems. What the hell are you talking about? You, you come in here, you, you tell me that Celine is... Take a seat, Mr. Henry. She's... We're going to have a look around, uh, then we'll talk. Jesus. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, uh, Sure, this means much. You think the atmosphere is thick in here? Wait till you find a gas.
Well, the oldest problem there is, what to do about the old lady. What's to offer, though? Uh, it doesn't necessarily have to be murder, though. Incidental. Size eight? Eleven. Size elevens. Boy, man, we have a shit ton of fucking evidence, man. So who could have killed Celine? Where did she go last night? A bar, I suppose. Look, I don't know. Man, I have no fucking idea. Did you last see your wife, Mr. Henry? Last night. I went to see her. We talked. Things got a little out of hand. I left. Why did you kill her, Jacob? Things will go better if you come clean about it. That's a lousy thing to say. I never gave up on my wife. Paula. This guy is impossible to read, man. He just looks shifty. Why did you kill her, Jacob? Things will go better if you come clean about it. That's a lousy thing to say. I never gave up on my wife. 
He's lying. I don't believe you, Jacob. I think you didn't have the guts to do it yourself, so you had someone else do it. You want to back that up with something, Big Mouth? Huh? Yes, I do. Death threat note. Bam. The note by the phone suggests you met her hard. You want the truth? Truth is, I was sick to death of her. I was trying to have her committed. <sighs> Beast mode. Okay. Last contact with victim. When did you last see your wife, Mr. Henry? Last night. I went to see her. We talked. Things got a little out of hand. I left. That's a lie, and you know it. You tailed her, watched her come out of a bar, and then beat her to death. Admit it, Henry. Why would I do that, detective? Because you have marital problems. Sometimes you have to shake the tree to see what falls out. Nah, this is tough. So who could have killed Celine? Where did she go last night, Jacob? The bar, I suppose. Look, I don't know. Do we have any evidence that he knows where he where she might have went? Classic cartel. BD text. Mm. Fuck you, BD text. Somebody robbed the house. <sighs> man, this is complicated, man. I don't know. Man. A night of murder. Check if there's a car outside. Oh God, I don't know what to choose. All right, all right. So who could have killed Celine? Where did she go last night, Jacob? The bar, I suppose. Look, I don't know. Okay, he gotta know that's her favorite bar, the Bomba shit. I get the impression that Celine liked to live the rest of his life. How did she end up with a hump like you, Jacob? Celine was one of the first woman pilots. She hung out with movie stars and royalty. When she came back here broke and struggling, she married a mechanic, put a roof over her head, food on the table. Not glamorous, but the best I could do. I'm not ashamed about that. Damn it.
So you can prove that you came back here after you left your wife's place? I came back here. I was here all night. Start work at 6.30. I'm nothing going out tight. God damn it. Someone was out there beating your wife's brains out. That's all you've got? Talk to the bartender at the Bomba Club. He'll tell you he called here last night and I answered the phone. Really? We had evidence of that? But nobody answered. When did you last see your wife, Mr. Henry? Last night. I went to see her. We talked. Things got a little out of hand. I left. That's a lie, and you know it. You tailed her, watched her come out of a bar, and then beat her to death. Admit it, Henry. Why would I do that, detective? Um... Don't ask, you never find out. So, last night I went to see her, we talked, I left. It seems true. You know what, I'm going to say truth. You don't remember what time you last saw your wife alive? Look, I'm sorry. I left. Maybe okay. 9 p.m. Might have been a little later, but right around nine. We're still going to need you to come downtown, Mr. Henry. We can get this all down on paper, Jacob. How you got fed up with your wife and how you figured killing her would bury all your troubles. Kill my own wife? She was a loss of the trap and you just couldn't stand it anymore. Shut your goddamn mouth. <laughs> so now you're going to tell me you loved her? Ah, the DA goes all gooey over remorse, Jacob. Oh man. You're awful hot as the collar for an innocent man, Mr. Henry. What's this? Forgot the buttons. in and get a squad car dispatch and check for messages. I'll keep old Slugger here company. Man, at least I got two out of four. This was tough, man. Ah, oh, man. I feel like I could have done better, though. Alright, whatever. Tis the game goes. Operator, message for KGPL. Phelps badge 1247. How can I help, Detective? I need a patrol unit to transport a suspect back to Central. Certainly, Detective. You have a message from the coroner. Do you wish to be put through? Yes, ma'am. Carruthers. It's Phelps. I've completed the autopsy. Several wounds to the head from a blunt metal instrument. Closest match would be a socket wrench handle. So the cause of death was the blunt? No, the blows to the head surprisingly were not fatal. Death was from hemorrhage and shock from the fractured ribs and multiple injuries caused by the stomping. 
Anything else? He's some kind of sex fiend. The tissues of the anus were bruised about one-eighth of an inch, but no trace of semen in the anus, vagina, or stomach. Thanks, Doc. Operator, give me R and I. Sorry, I. Any word on an owner for that vehicle? License was two boy eight eight nine nine. Yes, detective. The plate belongs to a brown nineteen thirty six Pontiac. Registered owner is one Alonzo Mendez of four zero two South Fremont Street, apartment sixteen. Thanks. Any other messages? One detective. From Captain Donnelly. He wants any and all suspects returned to Central. Interviews to be set up immediately. Got it. We're coming in. I don't think Jacob Henry is guilty. I don't think Jacob Henry is guilty at all. He has nothing to do with it, period. Alonzo Mendez. Sound like a man who moonlights as the werewolf? Don't sound like a man I'd let my daughter in near. You've got a daughter. Spend enough time drinking, Cole, you'll find yourself with any number of things you don't want when you're sober. So that's why you never sober up. Exactly. My brother said she took a real pounding. Maybe if he had been a little firmer in the beginning, he wouldn't be in this situation now. I imagine that Neanderthal routine is a big hit with the ladies, Galloway. Women love me, though. I have no complexity. They know exactly what they're gonna get. Mendez, apartment 16. Any other people that look familiar? BD, fuck you, BD. Tex. Is there BD or Tex? BD, BD, Tex. BD, 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 BD. Are you drunk, mister? Or are you just cracked? <laughs> are you drunk, mister? Or are you just cracked? Here. The apartment's up on the top floor. Got it. Could there be clues around here? Come on, yes. Let's go. Come on, fat bastard. Wow, Rusty, keep up. Don't bother knocking, just kick the door in. <laughs> oh, fuck, which door was it again? Take a look around and see what you can find. This guy loves kicking doors in. Yo, this case is crazy. It's, in, it's long and it's the same exact key. This guy's a lot of Los Diablos. It's gotta be of Spanish origin. Gold Dawn, eggs. I don't think so. This isn't what we're looking for. Hmm. Don't think this is any use to us. It doesn't appear to be connected.
No! I'm stuck! Oh, whew! That was weird. Oh. Not much help. Okay. Size eight. Gotta get these to Ray. Size eights could help place Mendez in the scene. Better get Pinker down here. Why keep it? Why not throw it away? Think these clowns are geniuses? Thank your stars you caught a break. Captain Donald will begin to like you. Hey! What gives? LAPD, you're under arrest. Do not lose that son of a bitch. I'll go get our wheels. Right there, stop right there. We did catch a break. That the guy remembered the dude's license plate? That's just crazy fishing, man. You don't need to do this, Alonzo! I still can't believe that. He knew the guy's license plate. Shout out his tires, all right. You're under arrest for the murder of Celine Henry. Put your hands where I can see them. Oh, hmm. I think the husband had nothing to do with it. I ain't saying a goddamn thing. You did a grand job, lads. Phelps, that's quite a way to acquit yourself in your first outing as a homicide investigator. It seems the city has a new and vengeful guardian. Considering the evidence against your suspect and the thoroughness with which a report was compiled, I foresee a safe passage through the courts and the deal. Damn, I could have accidentally got the husband Mentality instead. Mentality on a scale such as this deserves retribution. The people and the press of this city demanded. Seems like too e too convenient. <laughs> Suspects in the bag, and if you did leave Jacob sweat in the central lockup, yeah, well, oh well. All right. See you guys next time. Bye bye. To cool the lava, you pump through my veins, cause I'm burning. I'm burning.
Bye.